Hey everyone, this is Jamie from Homeschool Story, and I am here to show you a sneak peek into our brand new 2017-2018 student planners. And so if you haven't heard yet, we have some really amazing and new news. Um, this year with our planners, we have editable planners. So we're so excited. That was some major feedback that I was getting from you guys was please, we love your planners, but is there any way to make them editable so I don't have to constantly fill out the same information over and over and over again that we can just put in some information that's always going to be the same. So I've heard you and I've been working, I can't even tell you countless hours, not only making a planner editable, but giving you new versions of planners and with some really cool features in them. So I'm really excited to show you a sneak peek into one of our planners. This one is the editable, although it really doesn't matter because it's going to be the same pages, but I'm going to tell you which parts are editable. It is the six subject student planner and the one I'm showing you is in green. So just so you can show, uh, just so you can kind of see the differences. Now one thing to know, even though it's in green, so all the pages have color, is you can print these in grayscale and they look beautiful. So you don't have to worry about the color getting in the way if you don't want to print in color on the inside of your planner. Also to note is that even if you do want to print in color, I didn't use a lot of color, so it's not going to drain your ink completely. I have a blue and a green version, and they're both very soft colors, and they're not very bright, and they're not going to, you know, just kind of drain all of your green or all of your blue ink. So I try to keep you in mind with that. Also, don't forget there's a lot of discounts and things available at printing shops uh, for educators and homeschoolers, so don't forget to take advantage of that. Okay, so let's get into our planners really quick. One thing all of our student planners have is the cover, the, this year's cover it looks like this. So they all have the light bulb, the little light bulb, um, homeschool student planner covers for 2017-2018. This is the cover you're going to get with your planner. However, we have several new covers available that you can buy just one at a time. Um, they're really cheap and that way you can enter, you know, kind of like mix and match them or if you're going to use the edible planner for more than one kid, then they can each have their own color cover. Okay. So you get a cover. The next thing that all of our student planners have is an at a glance page. And so it looks like this. This is the two years at a glance, just so you can quickly see it's a good reference. So that is not editable, it's just a reference page. The next thing you're going to see are our monthly calendars. Now these are editable. So if you buy the PDF downloads, then you won't be able to type into these squares. But if you get the editable, editable, I feel like I'm saying that they're editable. Um, we're not going to eat the planners, right? So if you get the editable planners, then all of these squares can be typed in. So you'll be able to pre-type in birthdays, school days, vacations, um, whatever you, you know might be important, field trips, things like that. Uh, the next thing that is editable is the weekly pages. So this is your main part of your planner. Right? This is the part that's going to be the bulk of your planner. So you really want to make sure that this is something that works well with you. So this, I'm going to show you the six subject planner. And this one, it starts with this weekly page, which is important, this little part right here, because you need to print it if you want to do double-sided so that the week opens together like this. So if you don't print that, it won't show up double-sided the right way. So here's how it looks. Of course, you can hole punch it or bind it or do whatever you want with it. Um, it comes with six boxes across the top. So you have one, two, three here and then um, four, five, six. Now the sixth box kind of acts as a combo, so it's blank in here. Um, and that's usually where I just write the word weekend or Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that, because usually we're not doing a lot of school on that time. And so if anything carries over, we have enough room to write it in there. Okay, so that's how that looks. Now, and then on this one, we have all six boxes here going down. This is called our subject boxes. But again, it's editable, so you can make it whatever you want. If you don't want the subjects there, then that's fine. You might put kids' names there, and in each box, you have five lines, and you can just put in their school for the, for the day and have you know the kids going across. So you can make it however you want. There are boxes on the top. This is, again, our sixth subject. Um, and then the things to do and tests and projects. So everything you see here is editable. The green boxes, once you type in those, it will auto-populate that for all 36 weeks. So if you put Tuesday in this box, it's always going to say Tuesday. You don't have to write it 36 weeks. But all the white areas are individually editable, and you can type in what you need. 
The next thing that we have are student reading logs. So this is just kind of a fun page to put in the back of their planner if you want to keep track of their reading. They can color in as they read the different chapters and have their uh, start dates and end dates and things like that. And then some notes pages. So we have notes on the back side. It says important to remember. You can print them single or double sided and put a section in your planner or scatter it throughout like um, behind every every section or however you want to do it. So that is what is included in our student planner. So they're going to have plenty of room to keep track of their month and their week. Um, they're also going to have notes pages and the record keeping for their reading as well as a really cute cover. So don't forget to check out our other planners. We have a seven subject uh, planner as well. And we also have a weekly view planner, which is a totally different layout. It doesn't have a grid like that at all. Um, it's just by day, so it's a little bit different. Some of the older kids like that a lot. Um, and it also might be good for a mom. Which also brings me <laughs> to remind you that you need to check out our parent supplement. So in the years past, we've had a student planner and a parent planner, and you had to buy both if you wanted both. But this year, what we've done is because it's editable and you can kind of turn it into whatever you want and you can change the subject, you can put in um, in these boxes instead of putting in like one student stuff, you can put in the initials of each child. You know, you can put like I would put like maybe a D, a J, an L. Um, my material doesn't need to be there, right? But I could put those those there and then I could put out, you know, some basic notes of what I want to do. I can put subjects instead of days. So I can turn it into a lesson planner. And then with the parent supplement pack, you just add that on and that has um, several other documents that are more record keeping your attendance and um, a goal grid and an annual planner and some other things that really help take the student planner and beef it up into a parent planner. So that way you don't have to buy two separate planners. You can just buy the little add-on pack and you'll have everything you need to make as many planners as you need for your own children. So I hope that is um, exciting for you. We're really excited about it. I can't wait to hear your feedback and to see all of your great planners filled out. And let me know if you have any questions and we'll be getting back with you.